Hi everyone, so today I will show you how to draw a cube in perspective. This is really important topic, like very important topic, because every single thing you want to draw in perspective, if it's a scenery, object, a building, everything is based on those basic shapes. Cube, cuboids, cones, everything is based on that. So you really have to learn the basics to go and do some more interesting and complex stuff. So yeah, let's just learn it and see how it goes. So what you're gonna need to draw this is definitely some pencils, but most importantly the paper size. It has to be at least A3 because if you go too small, you won't be able to know which lines are which and you will get really confused after time. So yeah, you can't go too small and at least this A3, yeah? So yeah, let's go and see how it goes. Okay, so right now I will show you how to start this drawing and we're gonna start it with horizon line which will be at the edge of the paper. So let's draw it and yes uh, it has to be a straight line and i am drawing right now with b pencil it's not too smooth it's not too hard i think it will be perfect for this one and the next thing we're gonna do is start to draw a square so i moved to a bit lower and i'm gonna start if you're just learning first time you can draw it a bit bigger but i want to create multiple ones on this paper and i would like to create a composition and full drawing out of it but if it's your first one just for practice you can draw it separately so that's it this is the first step so check if this side is as big as this one this is very important for this to be a square because otherwise it, it won't be a cube at the end so check it right now so the second step if you checked this is a perfect square uh, not perfect but yeah it's a square the next thing will be to draw at this edge something like this here we're gonna draw an ellipse later on this is our a and a it has to be the same size on both sides so here is the same size as this one and right now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this measurement like this with my hand and right now i'm gonna count how many of those will be to this horizon line so uh it should be from five to six for the perfect cube so right now i'm gonna check how many is it one two three four five six this is too little i need to enlarge it a bit on both sides by the same size i'm checking once again one two three four five and this is perfect it's between five or six so this one is perfect and right now i'm gonna do the same thing on this one yeah yeah so this is b and this is big, this is a different one, this one is smaller, always smaller when it's closer to the horizon line. And I am checking once again, one, two, three, four, five, it's too big. So I am making it smaller, let's check when it's like this. So I am taking this and then it's one, two, three, four, five and six and this one is perfect. When we know that, um, when we know how big those two are, I will just clean it up you want your drawings to be very slick and precise because if this is crooked and um, the whole drawing at the end will not be the best okay so right now when it's all done I am creating an ellipse in those two spaces so I've showed you how to do this in the previous episode I done it long time ago so you can just look it up and you will get all the information from there or just copy what I'm doing right now but I won't be repeating what I said there so you, if you have no idea what's going on right now and why it is like this you should probably check out the previous video and to practice a bit so we have all the points and right now I am drawing an ellipse Ooh. 
and I will do the same exact thing on the upper one. Okay, so we have this entire cube here and right now we're gonna do this dot. This is a vanishing point to which we're gonna do all those lines. So first line will be here and we're gonna do it from here to stick to this side. So I will do it right now. Try to freehand it. Don't use this, the ruler, because you won't learn how to draw a straight line without using this device. So you will train your hand and you will learn much quicker how to draw. It may be very difficult at first to draw a straight line because most people draw it like this. It's etched. We don't want this. This is bad. You shouldn't do also like this. You should try to draw it with one smooth movement basically so that's what we are up to and we have this line sticking in those two places so that's how we figure out where the second vanishing point will be okay so where is the second line so we have this is sticking here and in here and it has to go also from the center of this um, ellipse so we're gonna draw this line elongate it so we have this and that's how we create a base so next move will be drawing almost parallel line to stick to this side of this ellipse so this line also goes to the vanishing point far away from of course our um, paper we draw it like this almost parallel okay so right now we have the lower base and remember to be very precise while drawing this because precision is a key for good drawing like this so right now we have the base and now we're gonna do from those four points straight line going up like this okay we don't know how far yet so we have all of this and right now we're gonna do lines like this going to this vanishing point which is on the paper uh, to the ellipse one which is um, here so I will do it right now this one is the same in the same place as the lower one Okay, so we have both lines going straight to the horizon line and right now we can uh, basically we have this dot, dot and when we connect those ones we should basically achieve something like this line which will go to the same vanishing point and as this lower one and I think I achieved this and you, it also should stick to the ellipse here. If here is a gap, it is incorrect. Okay. I will correct it when it's needed. It's, you know, not so easy to draw it. I'm <laughs> looking into the camera all the time, so... So right now I'll do the second one and I want to show you how to do it to the second second side. So basically I will do exact same thing. I am copying the size of the square from the beginning. So it looks and feels the same like this. Let's just do it really quickly. So I am drawing a square. And basically the same thing. So I am drawing this. This thing. This is really, really small distance. This is just free. So this is incorrect. 
I am trying different size, very very small. This is like one centimeter. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's okay, I think. And right now the lower one. Something like this will be okay, so like one centimeter here and one centimeter here. Something like this, let's check. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, that's good. Right now I am drawing an ellipse. I will freehand it, but for you I would recommend drawing it like this before and upper one okay and I am drawing the vanishing point and I will do it to different one yes. and right now straight lines sticking to the sides places where it's connected to the ellipse and the middle of the ellipse so this place here and here I'm copying this okay so right now I do exact same thing to the upper side so I do an ellipse I do straight lines up and the lines to the vanishing point and that's basically it I decided later on that I want to make this composition cool so I decided to add those lines with pen and um, more of the cubes which I also recommend to you to practice a bit more and to get a hand of the um, like this way of doing this stuff because this is really really simple and really quick if you know what to do and I also decided to color it with those vibrant colors so if you want to also do this um, I would recommend you to erase all the lines done with pencil because you won't be able to erase them later on so do it now if you want to also add some colors And yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video, I hope you like my drawing, I hope it helped a bit. And yeah, I will see you in the next one very very soon.